waiting for you. If you, you are receiving, don't move now. You are receiving your miracle. Come right to my left hand side by this pulpit. Quickly. Quickly. At the far back in my left side, in, my, in the middle, by the upstairs. Please check. If you don't check, you will not know. Check up. Look at that thing that was troubling you before. It's no longer there. You don't need to say, Pastor, how do I know? The pastor have prayed and God have answered the prayer. Check up. Once you have seen it done, just walk out here, shout praise the Lord, and then the people of God will rejoice with you. Come and share your miracle with us. Your testimony with us. Perhaps yours was done yesterday or day before or other previous program that the pastor have held with us. Now also come out quickly. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Tonight is a great night. Quickly, quickly, quickly come by my left hand side. Let's start interviewing them right now so that we get them ready for the testimony. God bless you. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. From the far back, come out. Let's encourage them. The pastor has prayed and the miracle is there. Quickly, quickly. God bless you. We're waiting for you. We're waiting for you right there, my left hand side by the pulpit. If you have got you your miracle, just say, Praise the Lord. The people around you, all of us, will rejoice with you. We're waiting for you. Come out quickly. Those online, also check up yourself where you are there. And then when you see your miracle, then you have to let us know. Via WhatsApp, message or record it and send quickly to the media team. And then we also air your testimony. We are waiting for you. Come out quickly, those of us. I can see some of them there now. Please, let's read them in, in order of the striking testimony. Quickly, quickly. Quickly. While we are waiting for them to come out, can you give us some singing, some celebration? Quickly. Are you ready? Let's come out quickly. Let's come out. Let's interview them and Arrange them so that they come and give their testimony. Tonight is your night. Say, tonight is my night. The way you are saying it, you are not convinced. Say, tonight is my night. Yes. As you are seated there, the power of God has been released. It's walking all through the camp. And it will reach you. It's walking in your life already.
Praise the Lord. Before the Alpha location, we have some testimony online while they are preparing them. Please, let's listen to some of those testimonies. The power of God is indeed working wonders as we are hearing of great testimonies online. We begin at Canada. We go to Canada live now where you have these pictures coming to you live. The power of God that has worked wonders in the life of this 72-year-old woman. She was healed of 10 years curved spine. She had been coming to church and then she attended this GCK ongoing and by the power of God, she raised her hands for the altar call, gave her life to Christ and after the final prayer, all the problem of curved spine disappeared and she says that she's now completely free. We'll be following up this testimony and giving you more details. Praise the Lord. Is that the much you can say? Praise the Lord. You know how far Canada is from here? God has reached there with his power. And he will reach us here as well. Please. We proceed to Jigawa State now for a testimony. Jigawa Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Sister Ngozi Ofodile from Duse region, Jigawa State, Nigeria. I want to testify of the Lord's goodness unto my daughter, who is not here. During the global crusade, she received her perfect healing when the man of God prayed. Since 2019, she has been complaining bitterly on bladder pain. We are thinking that the pains were just ordinary pain, but we don't know that it's serious. Until this global crusade, she came back home from where she's serving. And uh, the team brought her down. And she went to see a consultant. She was scanned, and they proved that it's ovarian cancer. So, I told her to believe God when she was crying, weeping, why she having this kind of problem. I told her to believe God. The global crusade miracle is real. She should believe God that everything done there is real. When the man of God prayed, she will receive her healing. Which she believed God. The man of God said, all oh, the sickness. He is using the name of Jesus against every sickness. And that was how she received her healing. The team break in, inside her because they said if the eggs that were not shed break inside her without uh, the doctor's intervention or whatever that she will die and she was panicking so God did the surgery himself the following day she started seeing a menstrual period the side that used to be very very strong like stone before she touched it and she said it's soft now. And since then, she's been free. No more pains. She doesn't complain again. No drugs. So, as if it is not enough, when they brought the result, after three weeks of the global crusade, the result read negative. That they did not find anything in the blood. I told her, yes, that is God. Prayers have neutralized everything. So that was how she got her healing, her freedom. It's the Lord. Ovarian cancer, cancelled. Everybody say cancelled. We want to listen to live testimony from Alpha location here. Please let us smart about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Paul Joseph. I am from River State, Okrika, precisely. Recently, three years ago now, I was, I received a call of God 
and I receive instruction precisely to come to Ogonitai to start the ministry. I came for to Ogoninowa precisely. We started the ministry. And as we begin to do the ministry, it was slow. We keep praying for one year before we begin to see some persons. As we are about to break forth, we begin to see some setback. So we continue to pray again in order to break forth. It was so tough, it wasn't an easy matter in the land of Ogoni, an Okrika man in the land of Ogoni. I ought to pray, we prayed until by the grace of God, we begin to break forth again. Because even those coming, you could not even make them to stay in the ministry. Finally, something happened five months or more than that ago. In the church, in the altar, where the seat was, rats began to pull there. I thought it was a rat pool. My wife will sweep it out every day, every midnight. The pool will be there. I didn't have time for it. Finally, on where the pulpit is, by the right side of the pulpit stand, I begin to see the pool. At the midnight of o'clock, as you come out, you will see the pool there. What is going on the altar that they are ministering? I don't understand. One day, I kept rat poison. When I kept rat poison, that was where I knew that it was not a rat. When I came out, I saw these bats on the altar. It flew out. It did not eat the poison, so it did not die. So I would keep praying. In the midnight, if I came out around one to the altar, I find out that the pool is already there. So I now what begin to do watch and pray. By 12 o'clock, I'm already there so that it will not be there. If I miss that 12 o'clock, the bat will already be there. Let's go to the point. Pool. Now, the, the point. testimony is like this. Whenever I'm coming out, I will carry broom or stick in order to fight this bat. I could not catch it. Finally, I learned that WF Kumui, the papa, is coming. And that is where I'm coming from at the same time. By the grace of God, I said, he's coming because of me. I must attend. I was able to attend pastor's conference on the 28th, on Friday. When I came in, I came in very early, and I sit in a position that I want to see his eyes. I want to see his face because there should be a magnet to him, with him, at the same time. So, when he came out on the podium, immediately his eyes and my, and my eyes was the first contact that we have. And the power of God struck me, and I began to weep. In that weeping, he began to minister. After his ministration, something happened. My body was weak to sit down. And the, uh, the, another person came up and took the mic. We are praying. And as I sat down, something happened. The person, the thing that was troubling me, I just fell into trance. And something caught the bat inside the back. When the bat, the, when the bat was caught in the back, I came out of the trance. The bat struggled to leave, but they could not leave. That Friday till now, I have not seen the bat. And I want to give God the glory. I have battled and all. Praise the glory Lord. To God. The miracle is taking place. Let's bring them out quickly. Let's bring them out as God is still healing people. The next one, uh, choir, please. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, choir. Go ahead, brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Uebe Sonibes Bariko from Bionu Banga, Banga District. I'm a soldier. What happened is that the year 2000, I was going to walk. It's happening there again. Bring them out. I was, I was going to my working place. Along the line, I got accident. My kneecap got broken. So my kneecap jumped up to the laps. My leg is not all that good again. I cannot move. They carried me from the road where I got the accident to military hospital, Port Harcourt. As I was there, they cannot treat it. They cannot do anything. They sent me to one hospital. They said they will cut it. They will remove it. So my brother now took me out and ride undertaking. Took me to one native place. They treated it locally. I went back to my Brother, unit. what happened? Now, my leg is not all that good. I cannot move. They sent me to Dallas Hospital. They said I should bring 100,000 or 1 million. When I was there, they cannot treat it again. There was no money. They took me back home. Yesterday night, the other night, as I was here, the man of God, 
sir, doctor, pastor, WF Kumuyi, give us the final statement concerning my leg. The same that time the Lord visited me. My leg now has no problem. But for Jesus, I can stretch. I can stretch. You can see him there now. Is no, there is no noise again. You can it see. It has become normal. What doctor Praise the Lord. What, clap for Jesus. Is that a much you can clap? Please, brother, before the next testifier. Okay. Just very brief. Our brother had a left patellar fracture that was healed here day before yesterday. After the man of God's prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, before the next testimony, we want to recognize some VIP here. Please, if I don't pronounce your name properly, you pardon me because I can't speak your language. Uh, Honorable Dickin Akia Fubara, former commissioner for transport, River State, representing. Please, you are all welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, sir. You are welcome. We also have uh, Sir uh, Fab Fabora J, PDP candidate governorship. You are all welcome, sir. Is he around? All right. Thank you very much. We have uh, Emmanuel Dosen, principal, Borabi Memorial Secondary School, Bori, and also Peace Emmanuel, wife of the principal. You are here. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Is it the school we are using now? Oh, wonderful. You are great. Thank you very much. You made us proud. Right. Brother, you can go ahead. Church, praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I am saying my name is done. You can see people rejoicing over my there. My name is done by bad. Look I, at it over there. I worship at Deeper Bible Church. A as it more more shout for children. Jesus. Praise the Lord. All right, brother, you can go ahead. Praise the Lord. My name is done by Badam. I worship at Deeper Life Bible Church as equally regions. As I come here on Thursday, I will have a serious chest pain. Anytime I cough, I will see something like blood in my mouth when I pop a glance. As the last player of the man of God down on first day, I receive my healing. Just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's clap for Jesus. The way you are clapping, look, look at. Clap for Jesus. Look at miracle taking, look, jubilation in the car. Let's bring them out quickly, 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 quickly. The next testifier. I told you that tonight is explosion night. Shout explosion. Praise God. My name is Emmanuel Mwaboso. I'm from Mechi. I worship at the Great Grace Bible Church. On Friday, I enter here. So, as Jesus started to pray, he said we should lay a hand anywhere we have our pen. So I lay a hand for my rib here. My rib, they pay me. As I lay a hand here, Jesus pray finish. The, the, the wound get, get off. I didn't see the wound again. Praise the Lord, you will not see it again. Yes. That pain is gone. Clap for Jesus. The way you are clapping, look, look at. I say clap, global clapping. I, the more you clap, the more miracle. Look at all that miracle happening there. Look at the dancing. The jubilation in the camp. I told you, choir, can you give us a little song? <laughs> 